Hey friends, Mrs. Milner here again. I have another little project for us to try if you'd like. This is going to be something similar to the color field paintings of Helen Frankenthaler or Mark Rothko. Uh, I think that you'll have a blast with this. You will need either a paper towel or a coffee filter and some markers or watercolor paint or like I said something else that you can color and blend with. And I will be right Okay, friends, uh, you also need something to protect your work surface. I've just got a little foam plate. You can use a real plate, you can use newspapers or paper towels, whatever you have on hand. And I went ahead and used my markers, and I just colored some blocks and lines with my markers on my coffee filter. And then I'm going to use, you can use either a paintbrush with some water, or you can use a spray bottle. And then after you have drawn, then you spray it, and then we'll see what happens. Let's see. What do you think is going to happen? Well, let's see what actually happens. Here we go. We're just going to spray the water. And already, you can see that those colors are starting to blend and bleed together and make some interesting shapes. I think this is really fun. You can also do this with uh, food coloring if you'd like. But it's just a good way to see how colors make us feel and how they mix together with other colors. So think about those things as you're making art. How do colors make you feel? Uh, a lot of times the cool colors like blue and green and purple make us feel kind of calm. The warmer colors like red, orange, and yellow make us feel a little more energized and sometimes angry or happy. So think about those things the next time that you're making some art. I hope that you have fun trying this, and if you do try this and you'd like to bring it to the next Zoom meeting, we'd love to see it. You can also, if you use the coffee filters, you can hang these in your window like a stained glass. We'll see you next time. Bye!